it over on Facebook. We're going to give you the vegan food gifts class. All right. Um, hello, everybody. Um, this is Nicole of The Good Life Refuge, and I have Sarah Easton with me, our beloved um, chef and health, health coach. Um, and Sarah will share today of food gift items that are plant-based. And I'm super happy to have her here. And she put a lot of work in this um, demonstration today. So I'm really hoping that um, you guys have lots of fun. I'm sure I will have um, tons of fun. I always start cooking after I, I had Sarah here doing classes for us. Um, so with that, um, I just have a quick reminder, we still have some handmade gifts for you guys that can be picked up at the sanctuary. We have these drawings, uh, hand painted, some of the pictures matted or framed. And then uh, we'll have these little sponsorship packages. They come with a bumper sticker, a magnet of Good Life Refuge, and a picture of your choice of the animal that you are wanting to sponsor. And we have these little gorgeous bookmarks. We have different ones, and I'm always not good with the camera. Um, and some fridge magnets. So if you're interested, shoot us an email at info at goodlifefuge.com. And with that, I'm not going to bore you longer. Oh, I forgot these. They're my favorite. I, I'm sorry. So gift ornaments. Um, so, so with that, I'm going to hand over to Sarah and let her the field. I will turn my camera off so we get the full view of Sarah and also my make um, bed. I'm still on. So you guys enjoy. Thank you for joining us. And um, please put your comments in the comment sections. I'm monitoring them if you have any questions. And yeah, with that, I'm going to give the floor to Sarah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Nicole. And uh, we are only Instagram live on my uh, my page because Nicole has Nicole lives in Longmont and she has some connection issues. So uh, welcome everyone and thank you so much to Nicole with the Good Life Refuge for joining us for the Vegan Food Gifts class. If you don't know about the Good Life Refuge, they are a sanctuary up in Longmont, like I mentioned, and they are home to all sorts of really wonderful, wonderful animals and she provides such wonderful care to them and we just love we just love her mission and what she does. So she just gave you a a little bit of a rundown of her offerings. Her She has some sponsorship packages and some really nice gifts that you can give if you would like to support her sanctuary. Um, it's always uh, giving a donation to a ch charity is always a really nice gift to give to someone. So anyways, we're going to get into the food gifts. And as Nicole mentioned, my name is Sarah. I am a plant-based chef and a vegan lifestyle coach. I love... I used to, when I was a kid, I used to love crafting and I still really like to craft too when I'm able. And I kind of blend the, my love of crafting and also uh, my love of cooking for this vegan food gifts class. And food gifts are a lovely thing to give to people because they give you a personal connection with the person that you're giving them to. And there's so many options. There's easy options. There's complex options. There's uh, options for people that, you know, if they're really good cooks, you can give them like a nice mix, or you can also um, give them something fairly simple. Um, and also they're really great now since we're in the pandemic and, um, and I don't want to go shopping. I don't really want to go to the mall. I don't really want to, I want to limit my exposure to people. So these are a really nice thing to do. And a lot of these you can just make with things that you have on hand. So um, I do want to tell you this, this is the cookbook that I just love. And I've taught this class a couple times. It's called Vegan Food, Food Gifts. And it's written by Joni Marie Newman. 
and um, it is fantastic. You can probably get this on a Amazon used, and you might be able to check this out from the library, but I highly recommend it. It's full of really creative, really delicious recipes. It's got such good ideas. Uh, she has some really good information on how you can make little boxes, um, some really nice ways that you can uh, give your gifts some fun packaging, basically. And then the diversity of gifts and the recipes that she has in here is really tremendous as well. I'll go over just a few of the ideas that she has in the cookbook and then I'll tell you a little bit more. So these are some really nice small pumpkin chocolate chip breads that I made this morning. And these breads are really nice to give. You can also freeze these and uh, you can put them in like some parchment paper or you could put them in a little bag. I'll go over these bags later. You can, or you can, if you just want to do something really simple, you can put them in like some saran wrap. And uh, like I said, they're really good to freeze. And if someone you know shows up at your house or if you have um, anyone that you need a last minute gift for, they're a great idea. And then I also made these ginger cookies. And cookies are obviously a really easy traditional uh, gift to give. And I'll show you how I'm gonna package these up. These are made with fresh ginger and then a little bit of crystallized ginger. If anyone would like any of these recipes, um, you can uh, send me a message or send Nicole a message and we'll get you these recipes as well. This broadcast will also be streamed to YouTube if anyone wants to catch it in the future. You can refer back to it if you, if you missed anything. Um, this is also a really nice gift that I like to give. Just some, these are sweet and spicy nuts. You can do candied, any kind of candied nuts. Those are a really nice gift to give. I added some coriander and some cumin to this and also a little bit of cayenne pepper. And they're a really lovely flavor combination. And then the I'll talk a little bit more about, we have another mix that I'll talk a little bit about as well. Uh, and let me, I just wanted to run few, through a few more options that you can give as gifts. Um, so some gifts that people really love are quiches, casseroles, lasagna, Dips are a really nice thing to give. Chili, pre-made chili, green chili sauce, pesto, popcorn sauce, uh, vegan cheesy sauce. Those are all really nice gifts to give. And this, like I mentioned, this is a, a great book. And um, if you don't want to buy this book, you can find a, a bunch of really nice recipes online as well. Pinterest has some excellent ideas. Um, and then I'll just kind of run through a few of these ideas that she has in here. And like I said, I use this cookbook all the time and I highly recommend picking up a copy if you like to give gifts. But um, she has a lot of cookie recipes in here, obviously. And then she has recipes for the mixes, which I'm gonna talk a little bit about. This is a mix and you've probably seen these at the store. You can buy, you can make a pre-made mix and people really love these mixes. Uh, you can make the pre-made mix or you can give a cookie. Uh, there are also things like soups. There's a lot of soups in here, uh, like a chicken soup, cheesy potato soup, mac and cheese, instant mac and cheese. That's a really nice recipe as well. And uh, rice pilaf, rice and beans, different types of mixes and seasoning blends as well. And then some other nice things to give are popcorn topping or um, cordials, liqueur, things of that nature. There's also a nice recipe for tofu jerky. And really the list goes on and on. You can also give jams and jellies. Apple juice is a nice thing to give. Um, I mentioned a little bit about a seasoning mix. Some Mexican spice blends are nice to give. And then I also had been learning a lot about Ayurveda and I made a really nice um, Ayurvedic blend. This is for emotional support and it has a lot of grounding spices in it. And it's just a, a really nice balancing thing to give to people that might be under stress. I think a lot of us are experiencing a lot of stress and especially around the holidays, it gets even worse. So the thing that I like to do is I like to reuse my jars. Um, this is actually a mason jar. I think most people know what a mason jar is. You can also pick up the mason jars if you don't wanna reuse your, your jars throughout the year. 
Uh, you can pick up uh, a variety of sh shapes and sizes of mason jars. If you are you using jars, you want to be sure that you read the recipe and the instructions well and that you are using the proper size. Um, and then some of these jars, this is just like an olive jar. What I'll do if I reuse a jar is I'll peel, uh, soak the jar, and then you'll peel this off. And if the jar, if you can't get all of the label off, this is a label that I wasn't able to get all the way off. You can use a little bit of alcohol, which will kind of get that off. And then there's an, another uh, product that you can use called Goo Gone. And the Goo Gone will kind of eat that away. It has like some chemicals in it. So you want to be sure to ventilate your workspace really well if you use Goo Gone. So, and like I said, there's a variety. Obviously, there's a variety of shapes and sizes of jars that you can use. I like to reuse my seasoning jars as well. Um, and then big jars as well. Um, and then the next thing I want to talk about is, uh, oh, I actually wanted to get over into, talk about a little bit about the, the bags. If you don't want to use a jar, um, and with the jars you can also, some things that you can, just want to tell you a little bit more about the jars. With the jars, you can also put things like cute little stickers. You can put fun labels on them. Uh, you can even paint on them. Um, and then this is, there's a variety of labels that you can get. These are just some really basic labels. But you can also write on them, you know, just with the Sharpie, write on the lids. And then there are these little tags that you can also get. I get a lot of these from Walmart, Hobby Lobby. Michael's as well. And uh, then the next thing I guess I'll, I wanted to talk about is these fun little bags. And I get these bags from Hobby Lobby, Michael's. Uh, I don't know if you can get them from Walmart, but they're just a really, they're, these are not a low waste, uh, not a low waste packaging by any means. If you want to do the low, low waste, eco-friendly stuff, use the, the repurposed the repurposed jars, but you can get these sweet little bags and then you get a nice little tie and then you can just attach a, a little label and you're all set. These are really, re really sweet little gifts and people generally really like these. So what I wanna do quickly is show you how, I have to get my funnel, sorry. Uh, one of the tools that you really need when you're making these food gifts is you need a, a nice funnel. It's good to have a couple different sizes of funnels, but what you do when you want to, after you've got your items prepared and cooled, you're going to open the bag up, and I'm going to put my, can, my candied sweet and spicy nuts in this one. I'm going to put the funnel in the bag. And I'm just going to pour it in there. And did I mention you want to be sure these are cooled? Not sure I mentioned that, but you don't want to pour anything warm in here. It will melt the bag. And then just take your little tie. And tie it up and put a label on it. And then we'll just quickly do some of the cookies. And these cookies, if you find a nice jar, you can put them in as well. You can do that. And as I mentioned previously, if anyone would like any of these recipes, please reach out to me and I can send them to you. But oh, these recipes, or these cookies smell so good. All of these things that I prepared are really full of good um, Christmas spices and they just smell incredible. So anyways, there's a few of the finished products, really simple ways to give these to your friends. Give some nice food gifts to your friends. Okay, and so the next thing I wanted to talk about, the next thing I wanna talk about, I mentioned previously, are these fun little mixes. And like I said, these mixes, you've probably seen them at, at the store. And there are a variety of cookie mixes, that you can prepare um, a lot of these recipes. There's some great recipes in this book and you can also get some online, but this is a fudgy brownie mix. And I didn't want to demonstrate this because it's really, really, it's 
kind of messy. You've got the flour and the cocoa, and it just kind of goes everywhere. But what you want to do is you just layer the ingredients, and all of the instructions are in the book. You just layer the ingredients into the into the clean jar, and then what you want to do um, is the book and the online recipes will give you the, all of the instructions. But then what you do is you have, they'll give you a label, and this label you'll want to affix to the jar. And this kind of got a little bit. You want to keep it as clean as possible. It got a little. Um, a little touch of stuff over it, but um, keep it as clean as possible. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tape. I'm going to tape the label on this front side. And what if you start doing this quite a bit, uh, you'll get you'll get more comfortable with it, and you'll see what size you want the labels. And you'll see, like this is not probably not the greatest for display, but um, as you you go along, you'll see you can make the, the label a little bit smaller. You could also use some uh, wrapping paper at the back and make it a little more um, a little more festive. And then one thing that you could do is add. You could just add a little bit of ribbon to this. Just add some nice ribbon. I don't know if I can pull this off, but add a little piece of ribbon to this and add a bow and add a nice uh, one of those labels and say something like thinking of you. And then you can also kind of, I like to make little curls and then you're all set. And this is the fudgy brownie mix, all of the, the ingredients and the, um, in the, the instructions are on the jar. So when you give it, the person that you, you give it to, you just dump the ingredients in to a bowl and then they add the applesauce, some vegetable oil, and a little bit of non-dairy milk and pop it into the oven and it's good to go. People really like this. And then the next thing I think I want to talk about are some, you can also give gifts to your dogs or you can give gifts to your friends' dogs. Um, this is a really nice cookbook that I love. It's called Plant-Based Recipes for Dogs. And if you don't want to pick up this cookbook, I think you can still find this on Amazon. If you don't want to pick up this cookbook, there's also a ton of great recipes online as well. And what you can do is you can make, you can make a, a couple little dog bones I bought in these uh, cutouts you can find at Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, you can make some dog treats with flour and mint or um, pump, pumpkin. Um, there's some other sweet potato. There are a lot of other uh, vegetables that are really good for dogs and their digestive systems. So you can make actual, make actual treats or you can make the mix. You can make up a mix like this and you can give them a little treat uh, cutout as well. So that's also a really fun thing to do. And then they just add the wet ingredients. Uh, so I, one of my favorite plant-based recipes for dogs, and, and these are actually good for humans can eat these as well, but this recipe is for dogs. These are just sweet potato, little sweet potato rounds I've cut in one quarter inch uh, rounds, and then I cooked them really low, about 250, and I cooked them for about two hours, but you want to cook them really, really low until they get a, a soft and dehydrated. You don't want them to be really hard, but it, you want them to have a little bit of softness. So I melted a little bit of coconut oil and then I, um, uh, I painted, not painted it, but I brushed it on, but brushed the coconut oil and, and then I cooked them at 250 for about two to three hours. And then I put a little bit of cinnamon and turmeric on these. And cinnamon and turmeric are really good for dogs. They're anti-inflammatory and they're great things to give uh, your dogs for their digestive health and turmeric and cinnamon are really good for us and they're good for dogs as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in a little bag 
And if you give these dog treats to your friends, you want to let them know that these are perishable. They're not going to last uh, as long as a regular dog treat will. They don't have the preservatives or anything in them. So they'll probably last two weeks, maybe, maybe a month. It would also be beneficial if you kept them in the refrigerator. But dog, my dogs really like these. I don't know if all dogs would like these because not all dogs like vegetables. Um, Nicole, these, this is also a fun and a, a pretty budget friendly thing that you can do for your animals at the sanctuary if they like, if they like sweet potatoes. Um, just cook them at low heat for a little while and then put a little bit of turmeric and cinnamon on them. And uh, at least my dogs really like them. And people really like these too. They think it, most people think this is a pretty fun gift to give. And so like I said, just put just put a tie on it and then you can get out, you know, the different labels, the two from labels and uh, put, put a label on it and say something nice in there as well. And so the next thing that I wanted to move into, I want to actually demonstrate a few of these recipes that are really easy to make. And like I mentioned, there are there is a wide variety of food gifts that you can give. There's great recipes online, and then give some of the traditional things that you like to give, like if you like to make bread or if you like to make a nice soup. Um, one thing that I did want to mention is this. I, I made a homemade veggie broth. This is an immunity broth. And since we're moving into the colder months and where everybody's going to, you know, we're going to be getting colds and flus, I, I like to keep my immune system ramped up as much as I can. So I made a nice vegetable broth and I put some turmeric and ginger in it. And I reused this jar. This is actually a veggie broth that I purchased previously. But I love the jar. And so I put the veggie broth in here. And I'm going to eat this myself over the next few weeks. However, if you wanted to, this is a great gift to give, especially for people who may be, have just gotten sick. Maybe they had surgery. It's also good for people that might have just had a baby or also people that may have had a death in the family. It's often a really nice thing to give to people that um, are going through some sort of grief. But you can give a veggie broth, obviously. But you can give a variety of chilies and, uh, you know, noodle soups or um, bean soups. There's a lot of different soups that you can give and reuse your jar. And people really, people really love these gifts. And also when people know that you're being a little bit more eco-conscious, that's really fun too. And then people can reuse those jars, especially if you peel the label off of them. And another thing you can do with these jars, I store a lot of my beans and my rice. You can store a variety of things in these jars as well. And with this small jar, you could um, store like paper clips. Uh, you could store, if you're going on trips, you can store, if you're taking like supplements, you can put your vitamins in this as well. Hair ties, I mean, these uh, jars are really nice to reuse. So, all right, and then I'm just gonna demo a couple recipes. Um, the first one I have, I think probably most people have by now, probably most people have heard of golden milk. And golden milk is basically just a turmeric milk. And it's really good for people that, um, you know, it's anti-inflammatory. It's also really good, like I mentioned, spices are really grounding. It's really good to drink it during times of stress. And uh, this recipe is really, really simple. And it's really delicious as well. So, and I think most people have heard of golden milk, but you can get a golden milk latte in uh, in different coffee shops. But you can also get you can also buy a prepackaged mix. And at, the prepackaged mix is really nice. But if you want to make a mix of your own, you can do it quite easily. So what I have is I have equal amounts of turmeric, ground turmeric, and this this smells just amazing. And this is a really nice recipe. And then I have ground and dried cardamom, equal amounts. So here I just have one quarter cup of everything. And then I have some ground and dried cinnamon. And cinnamon is so good in so many ways. Eat as many spices as you can, as often as you can. And then I also have some dried ginger. And dried ginger is like the uh, all-purpose all -purpose, uh, herb. 
I like ginger in, in all sorts of things and it's excellent in teas. And so I have put all of those ingredients in my jar, or I'm sorry, in my bowl, and I'm gonna mix it around. Now the fun thing that you could do with this recipe is you could layer these ingredients. I didn't wanna do it for this recipe because I'm doing it for the next, but um, it's really pretty if you layer it. It's also nice if you have it all mixed around because then people don't have to mix it. Because this one is one that people will just take a scoop out, like one teaspoon, and then they'll add it to their non-dairy milk. And, um, and then they'll add a little bit of sweetener as well. So I have my funnel, and I use this funnel all the time. I'm, this is a great investment. I have my funnel. Oh, and this is actually a reuse uh, jar I reuse. This is a, a jam jar, and I reuse this jar. And I peeled off the label. And then I'm just going to pour my ingredients into this. And so with this one, you could come up with all sorts of you could come up with all sorts of labels. You could do a fancy label. You could do some ribbon around it. Uh, maybe I'll do a quick label. I'll just pop a quick label on there. Um, and most people, I feel, know how to use golden milk. But if you want to include uh, some directions, you could also include the directions. I have this in that handout I mentioned that I can send to everyone. I have this recipe and the instructions. But you just put the little label on there and you'd say golden milk. And if you wanted to get in more detail, you just tell people that you spoon a teaspoon of this golden milk powder into a warm non-dairy milk. And then some people like to add coconut oil, and also um, some people will like to add a little bit of maple syrup if you like to eat sweets. So this is really delicious. Um, and like I said, you can layer it, and it's beautiful when it's layered, but I kind of like it like this just so it doesn't, it's not as attractive, but people kind of just want to scoop it, scoop it out. So anyway, that's the golden milk. And now we're going to move on quickly to the next recipe. I have some lentil soup, a lentil doll mix. And this is the one that I, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to show you how to layer it. And I've also, my final recipe is some truffles. So I'm gonna warm the chocolate up a little bit. And so this is the, uh, another jar that I reused. And when you are reusing jars or any jars, I've, I learned, I made this mistake of not uh, measuring my jars. I measure to be sure that my recipe would fit in this. And you want to be really careful when you're reusing the jars that your recipes are big enough or your jars are big enough for the recipe. So I am reusing this jar and I didn't get a chance to peel this off. But if you want to peel this off, just use a little goo gone or some alcohol and what I have is a lentil soup and this lentil soup is really nice this lentil soup is really nice for the winter time and it's also a quick meal it's really good for people that may have kids and it's also just a really nourishing and grounding thing to have for people in in the winter months so, and it's also really budget friendly these are just lentils and lentils are a fantastic uh, thing to give if you're watching your budget so I have some green lentils, and I have three quarters of a cup of green lentils. If you want these recipes, please reach out. And then my next thing I, I have is a nice little spice blend. And what's in the spice blend is some onion flakes. I don't know if you can see that. Some onion flakes, some garlic powder, turmeric, chili powder, and cumin. So it's got a lot of really tasty and also very healthy herbs in it as well. So um, we just add the first layer, and you don't want to do any mixing with this recipe. And then our second layer is going to be the herb blend, the herb and spice blend, I guess. It's got a lot of, um, and you kind of want to shake this a little bit so it's a little bit level. And the herb and spice blend gives it a lot of really good flavor, a lot of diversity of flavors. And then the last thing I have are some red lentils. So I'm gonna pour the red lentils on top. Oh, and just perfectly, <laughs> it just perfectly uh, all fits in there. So 
yeah, and you have the layers. Now you can get really cool. You can do a diversity of layers and really make these beautiful. I've made some really nice ones, uh, but I kind of just wanted to keep this simple for this demonstration. But these are a really pretty gift to give, and then you can put on, uh, you can put some stickers on this one. This one would be a fun one to put some stickers on it or paint it. Uh, and then also, I we prov have provided in our handout, we've provided the instructions. So whenever a person goes to, to make this, they'll have the instructions. And you just wanna print these instructions out. And then you just want, you can either, uh, like we did previously, you can affix it to the jar. Or what I'm going to do is just wrap I'm just gonna wrap the um, a little bit of ribbon around, and you'll also need to keep in mind that you want to, you need to have a hole. If you do it like this, you need to punch a hole into the recipe as well. And like I said, if you, uh, the more that you do this, the more, the better you'll get at it. Um, you probably, some of these labels, you might want to have the font a little bit big, a little bit smaller, because this label is a touch awkward, but still, people won't mind. But there's your food gift. This is a, and this is a really nice lentil soup. And I like this lentil soup. It's just, like I mentioned, it's especially good for people who might be short on time, maybe people that have kids, um, and also people that just really enjoy lentil soup. And those soups are actually, there's so many soups that you can do with so many dried beans. So, and they're, like I mentioned, they're budget friendly. And there's a lot of recipes in the cookbook. If anyone's joining us, um, these are the two cookbooks that we love, Vegan Food Gifts, and this is a plant-based recipes for dogs. And they have all sorts of fun ideas for gifts that you can give to your loved ones and uh, your friends as well. So I think, um, I think I've think i covered most of what I want to cover. And then the final thing I'm going to do is make a couple truffles. And I wanted to do truffles because a few years ago, I made truffles and I realized how easy they were to make. Um, and I don't think people know, uh, I don't think people realize how easy they are and how fun they are too. And they're a great gift to give. The great thing about truffles is that you can make different flavors. You can do caramel truffles, you can do uh, raspberry truffles, strawberry truffles. Um, you can also do caramel truffles. And what we're doing is a, a peanut butter truffle, like a Buckeye. And um, there's a lot of different, different directions you can take it. You can also crumble up some nice, uh, peppermint candy bar or pe pe peppermint canes and you can put them on top of the on top of your truffles as well or roll them in different sprinkles or if you want to keep it healthy you can do like some nuts or even some sea salt is really good as well so um, and what I've done I don't know how if people have ever made a double boiler but I don't have a double boiler so I used two saucepans. I have my hot water in the bottom one and then I, ha I just um, got some chocolate chips and I've melted them just on low for a little while. You wanna be sure that you don't burn them. But you just kind of wanna get them pretty melted. I'll let those keep kind of melting and then I'll tell you about the insides. And then the inside of this, this is a recipe from the Joni Marie Newman's cookbook. And this is just a really, really easy, really fun recipe. Whoops, and these actually got a little, you're supposed to freeze these. Oh dear, you're supposed to freeze these. And they're kind of, I should have kept them in the freezer, but this is just peanut butter and uh, peanut butter and powdered sugar. And you just knead it together, one cup of peanut butter and one cup of brown sugar, powdered sugar, and you just knead it together. And then you put a, uh, you put a toothpick in it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to dip it in the chocolate. And so I think my chocolate, for just to demonstrate a couple of these, I'll probably have to freeze them again because they've gotten pretty They've gotten pretty uh, soft. 
I'll have to freeze them again so they're a little harder. But um, I'll show you. The chocolate is obviously just pretty, pretty liquidy. And so I'm just going to dip them. Well, hope, fingers crossed this works. But I'm just going to dip it in. And I guess this is also another reason why you want to have it. <laughs> you want to have it pretty cold because this chocolate is very hot. So this didn't really turn out perfectly, but I will but I'll refreeze those and make them. So these should be a little prettier than that. But as you can see, they make a nice buckeye. And then you can put them back in the freezer and get them to harden up. And the package, I reused this package and I got some cute little, uh, they're like little muffin, mini muffin cups. And I'm gonna package them up and put them in here. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, like I mentioned, cookies are a great thing to give. All of those mixes are really nice as well. And uh, the, great thing about, the great thing about these food gifts is that you can get really creative with them. And you can also, if, oh, I did want to mention, if you don't want to get, uh, if you don't want to add a lot of streamers or any of the labels or do any of the, you know, any of the more, um, I guess, festive, do any more of the festive kind of foo-foo things, you can also keep it very simple. My good friend Chris gave me these wonderful um, pressure cooked uh, tomatoes a few years ago, and she just gave it in a simple jar and just put a nice little label on it. And these last, these actually last for a really long time. And when you open them up, especially if you, these are from her garden, and when you open them up, um, it's just really nice, especially in the winter months when we don't have access to as much um, fresh fruits and vegetables, it's really nice to have something like that. Um, and so you can do, put in just a simple jar, you can th put things like pesto, like I mentioned, popcorn talk things, cheesy sauce, mac and cheese sauces there's all sorts of fun things that you that you can uh that you can do so anyways i hope you guys got some good ideas and if anyone has any questions or if anyone would like the recipes like i mentioned you can reach out to me and this uh if anyone wants to go back and view this this video will be available on the youtube channel for the good life refuge so Thank you all so much for joining us. Like I said, I hope you guys have got some good ideas and feel free to reach out if you um, would like any of this information or have questions for me. Thank you guys. Thank you so much, Sarah, for your time and all the effort and all the yummies. And yeah, with that, we are gonna conclude our Facebook uh, live with Sarah Easton. Um, as she said, you can email us for the recipes. Um, I have the email addresses in the comments and you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Stay warm. We are looking into more snow. Yay. Makes life interesting out in the sanctuary, but that's what it is. And so you guys stay warm, healthy, and we're hoping to hear back from you guys. Thank you very much. Thanks have everyone. Weekend. Bye.